let's create a template so in this template I'm going to show you something easy for example I know that all my devices will use the same time zone and therefore I will use the time zone that is more appropriate for me which is Rome and these other attributes are usually used locally and defined locally by each device so I can remove them and I can do that from here or I can do it even in the advanced mode removing the JSON attribute that I don't need so now I have my time zone template which I save here I will give it a descriptive name and save it I'm assuming you're using OpenWRT by the way I will also flag it as enabled by default which um, will make it automatically selected each time a new configuration is created now onto something more advanced I want to create a template for my SSH keys which I will enable by default this way I will be able to log in into my devices without putting username and password each time on OpenWRT the authorized keys file is at this location and here I paste my key and I'm ready to go so I save this template and now we have two templates which are enabled both by default now suppose the most common scenario in your Wi-Fi network is to have uh, an access point on the 2 GHz band uh, you can make that one too a template so you have to define it just once so you you give it a, a descriptive name here you can call it 2 gears Wi-Fi P you can enable by default and you start creating first of all I suggest you to start with the radio configuration you add a new radio you call it radio 0 which is the common first radio this field you can leave it empty you put on channel auto you can put 20 or 40 megahertz band transmit power let's put something low put your country and that's it for the radio now you create the interface you add a new interface you choose a wireless interface which you call however you want in this case, in this case WLAN 0 you can leave empty or the default values for most of the fields you choose the access points mode there are quite a few other modes that you can use you type in radio 0 that is the radio we just created the SSD that you want your devices to show you have other options that we are not concerned with right now and we leave it with no encryption at all and we are done this is our template very simple very simple use case most likely your networks will be more complex you can see a preview of the generated UCI configuration for OpenWRT here it is we have an interface in the network package and in the wireless package we have the radio configuration and the Wi-Fi interface and we're ready to go we save this too 
now we can create a new configuration usually you won't have to create this type of object manually because devices will automatically register and you won't need to do this but for explanation purposes let's do this manually this time uh, so we call this device device1 and we in this case we have to supply uh, a MAC address we just make up and as you can see the templates are already selected because they are flagged as default so considering that um, the default configuration is enough for us uh, we are already done basically we can see a preview of the final configuration which will contain the time zone that we set before the name of the device the wireless template we just defined and the SSH key this is it we save and if you like you can also download the configuration which will contain basically uh, an OpenWRT configuration that will be installed on the device. That's it for now. In Let's this case ahead. I'm using a different system that is deployed online. Uh, it is filled with uh, templates I prepared before. There are quite many but I will show you just a few and I'm going to register a new device. Here I'm logging in to set up the LAN interface which is the only thing you will usually have to set up with OpenWSP2 because you need to make the device able to reach the controller. In this case I will just set up the LAN interface to be a DHCP client. Now the device is reconfiguring its LAN interface and I lost the connection and I will enter again and see that the address has changed. I will also check what is what the device is performing behind the sheet the, the scenes to listen for any event. And I log here again even though I don't need to do much. Here we can see that the device has registered the daemon that uh, talks to the OpenWSP2 application has registered itself and this is the name with which it has registered and the ID which is also something you might need occasionally so now you can see that the daemon has configured itself by inserting the ID and its key. These are the parameters that are needed for the device to check if there are configurations updates and download any new configuration. You can also see that device, the device has renamed itself. This is the MAC address. Now we can find the new device in the controller. Here it is. And we can give it a better name which is FOSDEM test and as you can see the default templates have been already added and I'm going to add another template that I know it will work in this case to tidy up the configuration a little bit more I'm going to add few optional parameters that are needed just for myself or for my collaborators. Here it is. And we are done. We can see a preview which contains the complete configuration which you can see contains quite many things that I'm not going to have the time to explain here. But you just need to know that it works. And we can see here that the, the device now will try to, oh, it's already uh, reconfiguring itself with the new configuration 
and we will see that it has renamed itself it has brought up the um, WLAN 0 interface and it's also announcing the network of the public Wi-Fi I'm setting up and here it is the bridge between the Wi-Fi and the VPN I can show you that OpenVPN is correctly set up and running with automatically created certificates and this is all for the auto registration feature as you can see once all the templates are configured correctly there's very little effort in setting up a new device